Great Lakes are a diamond on the hand of North America. Brightly shining jewel on the friendship bordering. Freshwater highway coming down from Canada. All around the shoreline, you can hear them sing. Sweet Mother Michigan, Father Superior, coming down from Mackinac and Sault Ste. Marie. Blue water here on flow down to Lake Erie, fall to Ontario, run on out to sea. Well, hello, and welcome to Cleveland, Whiskey Island Marina. My name is Lawrence. I am the captain of Living a Dream. And tonight, tonight actually, I'm going to set sail with the ultimate goal being to circumnavigate, if you will, the entire lake. Of course, I'll pretty much be hugging the coast, port hopping. But uh, when you plot the lake and plan on sailing it, she becomes uh, pretty long. So if I actually make it all the way around, I will be very happy about that. But it's sailing, and you take what the lake and the wind will give you. Hopefully down there you can see Living a Dream. Not the first sailboat, but the second sailboat. Uh, She's 28 foot long, Pearson, I think 1977. Been well maintained throughout the years. I have not got her out for a good stiff sail before this trip. It's just the weather has not cooperated with that. And I had a lot to do to get her ready. But I'm pretty confident that uh, she'll be able to handle anything that comes our way. We are anticipating leaving tonight actually though initially we thought we would uh, maybe leave the first thing in the morning but the wind is kind of telling me to leave tonight I got five weeks off so I'm just kind of eager to get out of Dodge anyway um, we got a 10 hour journey to Geneva on the lake which is a very fun place to go to particularly for Memorial Day weekend uh, the wind should be 10 to 15 this evening, coming from the north, northwest, which, by the way, is that direction. And we are heading east, and so that promises to be very good sailing throughout the evening. Tomorrow a high pressure system is setting in, and very possible to get 10 miles per hour or less all day and uh, for the first leg I really don't want to have to motor all the way to Geneva so if I can do some sailing that would be great I'm gonna have to motor at some point I know but I just don't want to start out that way okay take a little break now clearly if we're sailing all night we won't be doing a lot of filming uh, because this camera does not do well at night most don't um, but maybe to departure and uh, definitely uh, get this thing out for the sunrise well okay uh, things did pretty much go as planned last night we departed Whiskey Island Marina at about 10.55 with no wind. Say we motored probably an hour, 20, 25 minutes. And then a slight breeze picked up. Got both sails up. It was enough to get us going at about three knots. And uh, with the price of gas, and having departed 
last night there was absolutely no hurry so doing three knots was very acceptable uh, right now we are about 10 miles out from Geneva the destination for uh, this leg route over there you can see the Perry nuclear power plants And back that way is Cleveland somewhere. I think if it was night, you could probably still see it. My first mate is down below. She had uh, a rough one. She's been a trooper. She got back from New York yesterday. And she was on very little sleep. So she... Uh, Got a nap in before we departed. And was trooper enough to set sail at night with me. So for that I'm very appreciative. One reason for departing last night was there was supposed to be a meteor shower between 2 and 4. And uh, we saw... Four whole meteors, meteors, meteorites, whatever they're called. So it was not as possibly predicted to be like a major meteor shower. So she stayed up for that with me and finally went to bed about three, about four, three or four, I'd say. Meanwhile, I am Dragon 2. Thank you, Auto Helm. Though I never completely uh, went to sleep I was drifting in and out for a while and then when I would drift in and out I'd have very bizarre mini dreams if you will the boat is a mess right now because if you can see down here we had swarms of I believe midges all over the place I mean covered uh, for example my buoy here was just covered in bugs when we put the mainsail up that was covered in bugs so it was uh, quite the fest you can see they're everywhere so so much for cleaning the boat before leaving because it needs it again now. And they're all up the front and everything. As you can see, I'm goose winging. Uh, the, and it's very hard to do when you're uh, not focused. So that's why that sail keeps flapping like that for you non-sailors out there. My sails definitely need some tuning have not had a chance to really get the rigging set up right this year having only been out for two hours just for a test run for those of you not from these parts the north coast of America show you uh, Lake Erie here Uh, I'm sure many of you who are not from the area are thinking, holy cow, that looks like an ocean. Well, yeah, it is big, and this is one of the smaller of the Great Lakes. One of the things I wanted to do is a Lake Erie fun fact, fun fact every day. Um, so, the fact for the day is Lake Erie is about 250 miles long and 55 miles wide so that's a lot of sailing area first mate are you gonna pop your hand up there's my first mate now clearly just waking up and not feeling uh, all that fresh we'll get film of her later and possibly me Okay, uh, when we get to Geneva and all settled up, we'll take 
some videos of the uh, the fun town that is Geneva on the lake. Welcome back, and um, here we are at Geneva State Park Marina. We've arrived yesterday. Got checked in, took a shower, went for some breakfast, and then uh, napped because we were extremely tired since we were up pretty much all night. There's the um, main building, showers, store, mini restaurant, bathrooms, etc. Place is very nice. People here are extremely friendly. I would definitely recommend a stopover for any boater on Lake Erie. Um, very quiet at night no big party down here which was nice to enjoy after being at Whiskey Island you can see living a dream down at the end over there um, yeah definitely a stopover very nice we're going to go explore the Geneva on the Lake Strip which is you know kind of carny land as you'll see but can be fun in itself and um, discuss plans for tomorrow Looks like we're going to finally have a decent temperature day. Uh, we'll wake up at 6, gas, pump out, and take off. If it was anything like today, we'll probably have to motor for the first few hours, and the winds have picked up here today, maybe 5 to 10. Pleasant downwind sail for us if it's just like this, as it'll be from the west, pushing us to Erie, PA. And hopefully we can actually get some video of some sailing tomorrow. Okay, Geneva on the Lake Strip. And we're stopping to get corn. Wait, what are we getting? Cheese on a stick. Cheese on a stick. This is the food tour of Geneva on the Lake. We just played putt-putt, went into the arcade, and looking for what, go-kart? Yep. All right. Great Lakes are a diamond on the hand of North America Brightly shining jewel on the friendship bordering Freshwater highway coming down from Canada All around the shoreline you can hear them sing Sweet Mother Michigan, Father Superior Coming down from Mackinac and Sault Ste. Marie Blue water here on flow down to Lake Erie Fall to Ontario, run on out to sea Hardy are the seamen on the ships that load the iron ore Sailing out of Thunder Bay and bound for Buffalo Hardy are the fishermen just like their fathers were before Who say they'll bury me at sea, come my time to go Sweet Mother Michigan, Father Superior Coming down from Mackinac and Sault Ste. Marie Oh, 
to Ontario and run on at sea. Oh, the tales the sailors spin of mermaids singing in the wind, the sinking of the bessemer, the drowning of the crew. Memories of waters crossed, the women won and fortunes lost are etched upon their faces and their faded old tattoos. And up above the windy bridge, young men cursing to the wind. All along the Windsor streets, the wives and mothers lie awake and pray our lady of the lake. 